Hi guys, Gadget Man 404 here, and today's video is why am I so grouchy? And there's one name that springs to mind, and that is Yodel. Yodel, they're a delivery company. You can arrange for parcels to be collected from your premises and sent to anywhere in the UK, and also companies abroad use them when the parcels land in the UK to deliver them to UK addresses. Now, I have a problem, and this is uh, basically what I'm sort of warning you guys about. Do not use Yodel. This has happened to me now twice. Sorry, I just spat there, if you saw that. But that isn't from me sending to outside. That is from things being sent to me when parcels are in the UK. Parcel number one. Uh, last year I ordered a Bebop one. Uh, the guy got it all bagged up, gave me a tracking number. He said, yeah, it's on its way. It's going to be here by Wednesday. Like I say, a, a good year ago, over a year ago, a year and a half ago. So I went with it. I said, okay, no problem. And then the worst thing happened. Um, one of the days I was actually happened to be out, I think I was actually at work and I didn't know they were coming until they'd emailed me to say they're on their way and then I tried to recontact them to say can you deliver it another day or give it to my neighbour but I wasn't getting anywhere with that so when I got home I had a thing saying they delivered a parcel I looked at my front step under my camper van behind my bins no parcel I rang up the company and they said the driver said he's delivered it I said look I haven't got it so it says something like back door but the writing was really scruffy and I went back door you can't get to the back door I've got a blinking eight foot gate so I went into the back garden and there's a big parcel on the floor it been heavily raining now my gates are about eight foot tall so they literally chucked it over the gate and um, and then put a card through the door to say it had been left at the back door but there's no way they can actually get to the back door i rang up the guy to say you've paid over 10 pound for delivery and they haven't got a signature because i wasn't in and they still left the parcel. So anyway, luckily, because it was in the carry case with the foam inserts and his dad had wrapped it in several bin liners, it was waterproof, thank goodness, and there was no damage to the drone, which was a godsend. Now point number two, I ordered a Xeno battery on the 2nd of July. It said it was going to be here sort of like end of July, early August. So uh, we went away on the 20th of July and the parcel hadn't come before that. And I got back on the 3rd or 4th of August and I still hadn't had a delivery. I was asking my mother-in-law each day she was coming to check on the animals if she could just check the post every now and again and let me know how we had a parcel and you know, no parcel. So, and I got in touch with Banggood and said, you know, um, the tracking number, it's not updating, basically, isn't it? It's not updating, it's, it's not telling me anything, it just said no further information. And this was weeks and weeks after I'd paid for it. Uh, I originally got an email on the 4th or 5th of July saying that they'd been dispatched. I got three of the other things I ordered, two memory cards and a battery lead on the... 10th or 11th but on the 11th or the 12th I didn't receive any more parcels now when I got in touch with PayPal long story but I got in touch with PayPal the day after Banggood sent me the tracking number and who sent the parcel to me now normally when you order from Banggood or any of these Chinese wholesale websites they don't tell you who is going to be delivering it it just says uh, priority direct mail or or EU mail or whatever it doesn't give you a, a direct company name so until I got 
PayPal involved the day after, yeah. and I'd been in touch with Banggood before, like a week before, trying to get information. They weren't being very helpful at all. So I'd warned them, I'm going to get in touch with PayPal, and they probably thought I wasn't, but I did. And then yesterday, I got an email with the company name, etc., etc. So I went onto the website, entered in the number, and it said it had been delivered to this address at 12.35, on the 12th of July, so I rang up the company and said, that is a load of bunkum. So that is why I am so grouchy. I paid £43.10p, over £6 of that was for shipping, because it's a LiPo battery, and I haven't received no battery. So then I ring Yodel, and they're really unhelpful. Their customer services, you're waiting for ages and ages and ages, and they are not helpful, helpful whatsoever, they are useless. And they said, well, as it's been over the 14 days, you now have to get back in touch with the seller or PayPal, and they will have to get in touch with our claims department. So I rang up PayPal and I told them the story, and as now, I've got to wait 10 days. If I don't hear back from whoever within 10 days on the 11th, on the 11th day the money will be put back into my account but that isn't the point the point is the driver is telling his company he posted that battery I got a dry battery with no packaging and I tried to post it through the letterbox it won't fit it goes three quarters of the way through and as you all know the end of a Zeno battery is wider uh, lengthways and widthways so no matter which way around you turn the battery it won't fit through. So if it's in a jiffy bag or in a um, wrapped in bubble wrap and then in a box or wrapped in a jiffy, you know, wrapped in bubble wrap and then in a jiffy bag, there's no way on earth it would even fit through the letterbox. So I rang them up and said, please give me an email address and I'll take photos of this battery trying to get through a letterbox and you will see. And she just was not, oh, we're just going round and round in circles, we're just going round in circles. I said, no, you're not listening to me. Your driver is saying he delivered it. He did not deliver it. I was in every Wednesday and Thursday. They're my days off, so I'm at home. If he had delivered it and I wasn't home, he should have dropped off a car to say, it's in the back garden or it's with a neighbour. He didn't leave a card because he's saying he delivered it. So I got in touch with the Alfton branch and they said, well, it's over two weeks ago. The driver's not going to remember if he posted it. And I'm telling you guys now, he did not deliver it, right? Why would I have gone through all the process of getting in touch with Banggood and then getting in touch with PayPal if I'd got the battery? Because you would have to sign for the battery because it's a dangerous parcel and that's why it costs so much for delivery. You know, it's literally cost me over six pound for delivery for this item. So this video is to make you guys aware of how shoddy Yodel are and I would think twice about using Yodel because they're going to make you grouchy as well. Grouchy, grumpy, unhappy, etc, etc. Excuse the dog, I've shut the lounge door and now the dog has come in and he's barking. But this video is just to let you guys know, do not use Yodel. They are no good. They don't deliver parcels, they try and make out they've delivered them when they don't. Uh, if they do deliver parcels, they just chuck them over eight foot gates. There's no way that guy would have been over, be able to reach over a gate and then drop it down because it's eight foot tall and unless he's like six foot giant, there's no way he would have been able to safely put that drone down. Luckily for me, he didn't know what was in the parcel. He doesn't know what was in that if the battery was in a box, whatever, he doesn't know uh, that there's a battery in there. Trying to force a LiPo battery through a very small space. If it pierces those cells, it would have caused a fire. Chemical reaction to oxygen, flames. So that would have been very dangerous if I wasn't in the house and that was half jammed in and then it could have set fire to my porch, which is what I've told Yodel. So be very careful about choosing Yodel. They might be cheap, but they are not very good. I've had two instances when I've used them, well, when other people have used them, and I've had two bad um, experiences. So 
I wouldn't use Yodel. I've never used them in the future or in the past and I'm never going to use them in the future. So to stop you guys being grouchy, don't use Yodel. They're no good. Look for someone else. Pay a little bit more and then you know you're definitely going to get your parcels going to be delivered to you or the other person's going to get the, de the parcel delivered to them. So this is just a short one just to say don't use Yodel. They're no good. I hope you like the video. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. Drop me comments guys, you know I actually do get back to comments that are left me. Might not be on the day, but within a few days of that comment being left, I will contact the person and I will give them a like or a heart uh, and I'll reply to that message. So I'm just trying to do a video and the dog is still barking, so apologies for that. So that's it really, um, go to my channel, Gadget Man, leave a space, 404, I've got playlists, I've got Bebop Flight stuff, I've got Xeno stuff, I've got I Want Extreme, I've got Phantom 2s, I've got uh, Cyma X8C, I've done camera reviews, mods, how to make leads for batteries and this and that. So. Give them a check if you already subscribed to me. Thank you very much, guys. Trying to get up to at least a thousand so I can do the, I can have the advert thing and montage, and I might get a bit more traffic through. I'm at about 580 odd. So any more likes, subscribe, spread the word. Um, you know, share my videos, put them onto your social media sites, on your Twitter accounts and Instagrams and all that kind of thing. I uh, just want to try and get up to at least, I'd like to get up to about a thousand and then I can uh, montage my, uh, you know, I can, they can put adverts on my videos and then it just gives, gives me a bit more traffic. Um, and that's it really guys. So yeah, thanks again guys. Thanks for your support over the years. I really, really appreciate it. I've been Gadget Man 404. You guys have been amazing. And I'll see you in the next one. Gadget Man, 404, out.